Welcome to Automation Direct Media. I'm going to show you how to connect up to a PLC through a couple different options. So the first one we're going to go through DirectSoft Launch and I'll show you how to create some links and so forth. So let's open our launch screen up. And now that we're on our launch screen, um, you can go directly into DirectSoft Programming through this top link, which we'll do that in a minute. First, we're going to go down to our com links and show you how to connect up. So a couple of different things. Uh, if you notice that we do have three links listed here. The first two are in yellow, which means that they are disabled. So uh, DS Launch could not find those PLCs when it opened up. The last one does have a green light, which means it's active. So Microsoft Launch did find that PLC, and it is connected and active. So if we want to open that one up, we'll just double click on it. Um, we'll back up a second. Let's just say that we don't see a link here for the PLC that we're looking for, so we need to create a com link. So first thing, go to com links, and we're going to right click and do add a link. I have a DL06 connected up through a serial port, so we're going to select com1. Since we do know what it is, since it's an 06, it's going to be down here in the zero family. If not, then we could put not sure. And it's case sequence. It's always case sequence when you're on COM1 of any of our PLCs. That's the default uh, protocol. And so it ran through really quick. Hope you could catch that. It did find it. Link settings complete. So it did find the link. So we're going to say DL06 COM1. The description is up to you. Whatever you want to put on there. Let me just say this is uh, Machine 1 for your use basically so you can distinguish PLC to PLC. And you notice it gives you all the settings right here so we'll hit finish. Now you notice it is listed under our com link so we have a com link there. We can double click on it and we can start a PLC project. We're going to close that out. I'm going to back up a few seconds and what we're going to do is say okay I have all these links and maybe a couple of them I'm not using so I want to delete these. Either just select it and hit delete on your keyboard or you can right click and hit delete. Yes we want to delete that one. What if we want to edit it? We want to change our connection to it. We don't want to change the name so forth. Edit link. You say okay it's still a 250. It's 250-1. I want to change the description of where the machine is or whatnot. I can do that. I can change ports and also protocols. Okay, now what if you're in DirectSoft programming? Well, I've got ladder logic up right now. And let's go through. Let's just say that we already programmed, we wrote some code, and we need to connect up to the PLC. So let's go to PLC, connect. And if you don't see the link there, basically you're going to do the same thing. You're going to add a link and you'll walk through the same steps. Uh, let's just say not sure for this one for the heck of it. Hey, guess what? It still found my 06 that was on COM1. We're going to select that one. And it notices that there's a difference between the program that's actually in the PLC and a program that we have in front of us, which literally nothing. Uh, which one do you want to use? Well, let's see what's in the PLC. We'll use that one. So it brings up, shows us all the ladder, which is but run one rung. And now we're connected to the PLC. Oh, I take that back. There is a couple of rungs here. We are connected to the PLC. We're reading what's in the PLC. So that is how you connect up to a Direct Logic PLC using DirectSoft 5 uh, programming software or the DS Launch. Thanks. Have a great day.